Hi, my name is Michael Caduce, University of Iowa EMS Learning Resource Center educator. Today, in another video in our skills video series, we will be discussing the skill of bleeding control and shock management. Before we begin, I need to ensure I am wearing the proper body substance isolation, which will include gloves and eye protection. While assessing bleeding, I first need to apply direct pressure using a properly sized dressing. If bleeding continues, I can apply another dressing and prepare to place a tourniquet. The tourniquet should be placed proximal to the injury site, avoiding any joints, and should be tightened until bleeding stops. If bleeding cannot be stopped, a second tourniquet should be applied more proximally than the first. The time of tourniquet application should be documented for report to the receiving hospital. After bleeding is controlled, the patient should be treated for shock. The patient should be placed in a supine position and covered with a warm blanket to preserve heat. The patient should also be placed on high concentration oxygen. This patient should be considered for high priority or emergent transport to the nearest appropriate hospital. Hemorrhage control is the first step in shock management and a primary skill for the EMT.